What is going on YouTube? Been a while. It's uh, been, I don't know, two, three weeks maybe. Uh, I'm going to jump back on the ladder though. The uh, ladder did reset. I did make it to, um, I played just to get back to um, Master Ball level, but I didn't record any of it. Uh, I'm trying to out some different teams and stuff. I just haven't, I really haven't time to record. And I'm trying to catch up on my backlog of, um, PS4 games, too. I've had a lot to kind of catch up on that I've been wanting to play for a while, and, uh, kind of just taking a break from, uh, Pokemon as a whole. Um, this, this format's, it's changing, which is a good thing, but it's just, um, not changing for the better for me, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we are in Master Ball tier, um, trying a lot of different teams. Uh, I actually have a losing record right now, our 10,304, so we're really high up in the Master Ball, uh, level. Kind of ran to it with a new team, and then, um, it was like a Gigantamax Charizard team, which wasn't really good from the start, but I have a, um, a shiny Gigantamax Charizard I kind of wanted to use, and, uh, once I got into Master Ball tier, it just wasn't, it was, it was, it was about as good as I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh, we're 18, I didn't even think it went that high. How do you go from 10 to 18 in one battle? I guess other people playing. Okay, so we're like, <laughs> next on, I just have ever seen anybody on this ladder, so... Um, kind of back to basics a little bit. I, I mean, you'll recognize this team. So um, I was gonna jump out like, on that kind of meme team I had uh, with um, Colossal, but uh, I want to try to get some points back. So um, you recognize this team from when I first started recording for Sword and Shield. But I did change out uh, Rillaboom, which I do like. But uh, I, I thought I needed um, a fairy on this team, and then the prankster from Grim Snarl will also help. So um, just a regular prankster Grim, Grim Snarl has Thunder Wave, has Fake Out. Uh, has Reflect, um, and it has, uh, Spear Break, just to have a Fairy Stab, such as Fairy, and then, uh, Team Rest seems like actually kind of the same, so this is still, um, the most consistent team I've had, I mean, Sand and Bravier is kind of old-fashioned <laughs> now, even though this kind of changed, but, um, in terms of trying to think about what I'd like to use and what I'd like to try, I just haven't really had a chance to, like, practice a lot, or, like, Really uh, study the format a lot, so um, did catch the last regional. It looks like Dallas is really filling up, so we have over 500 players. So that's gonna be kind of fun to watch that too. So, all right, Alejandro, 17,920. So hopefully we stomp through this. All right, so he's got Cinderace. I haven't seen uh, Jellicent. Got the ice cream. It's kind of interesting because he has Whimsicott. Uh, I'm gonna go with Grim Snarl. Mm, I mean, honestly, Grim Snarl Braviary looks okay. I mean, nothing really threatens Braviary except for the uh, ice cream. So sand. Mm, it's got Kinkelder. Mm, sand doesn't look bad though. Udra. It's good except for his Duraldon, he's got Fairy, he's got Ice, yeah, it's probably not great. Arcanine might be better. Yeah. Oh, did I have four already? Oh, I already picked four. I don't think I had one more. Okay. That's why I took Sand. Okay, well, eh, well I kind of wish we had Arcanine, but Trying would be good for um, changing the weather too. And it'll keep my. So I kind of sort throw it on the weather a little bit. It will keep my um, sash on extra drill too, so I can change the weather out, so he's not getting it broken by any hail. All right, so jealous and Kinkelder. So is he trying to trick room here? Who's trying to trick room, right? I can't fake out this Jellicent. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Well. What's he gonna do to Grimstarl? I'm gonna go right for the Spear Break. Actually, I'm around of time, I'm around of time. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna Spear Break the Jellicent. And I'll Brave the Jellicent. I mean, I'll get the speed boost, but if he trick rooms, that'll be bad. But we're gonna be faster anyway. Uh, but this, just really see, throw all the offense I can at this Jellicent, see if I can knock it out. Jellicent's pretty bulky. I changed my outfit too. This is the rank battle outfit. I just something fun to kind of change up a little bit. 
Okay. Do -do -do. I do want to try that class team again, just kind of for fun. I, I, I gotta actually sit down and really think about the this year's team I want to build. I almost went to an MSS that way they were holding uh, nearby me, and I just, I just wasn't feeling it. Alright, he's Dynamaxing too, so this is gonna be King do you think? This character is my character. Alright, let's see what he's got. That's right, Kelder, so he's not afraid of getting a flying attack into it. I mean, you could have like a Thunder Punch. I mean, I'm gonna outspeed him. Okay, let's see how much this airstream does. I, I don't think this, this doesn't knock out Tells. Yeah, I don't think that plus Spear Break is gonna give it. Hmm. It's gonna be close, unless he has a berry here or something. Okay, here comes Spear Break. That's not gonna knock it out. I just know it's not gonna. Yeah, it's close, but didn't get it. Special attack is down. Max Knuckle. That's gonna be a Grim Snarl. Oh no. Okay, Braviary. I guess it's neutral either way. So, keep thinking Braviary is gonna resist it. Okay, is he Trick Room? Or he goes for a Trick Room. Hmm. So what else does he have in the back? He's got leftovers. So what else does he have in the back? I'm really afraid of this Jellicent. This is ally switch. Um, he doesn't really have much for Trick Room other than this Conkelder. So I'm gonna go for a Reflect, trying to negate his boost he got, and I'm gonna max airstream with Conkelder. I mean, I'm gonna boost my speed again, but I'm already getting faster anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it goes for super effective damage on this Conkelder. So Reflect. Hopefully Braviary can stay alive here. I mean, this might be his Thunder Punch time. No, he's Max Knuckles again. But I should take that. Oh, Grim Snarl, okay. Yeah, definitely he's dividing his fire. I'm definitely taking it then. He's raising attack on Jellison, which is generally always a special. Okay, Strength Sap. That's just, what well, I'm gonna get the, the Defiant Boost now. Yeah, so. So now I'm plus, okay. And then, oh my gosh, he got a lot from that. Okay. But doubling it, okay. I just knock out the there. Okay, cool. Jeez, I haven't one shot a Dynamax with one yet. So one of the bad things about this team, they don't really have a lot of trick room answers as far as slow Pokemon that goes up. Like Tarantar is probably the best I have, and he actually has some speed in him, so he's not great. But the rest of this team did not look very bulky or very slow for trick room. All right, so I get the boost on Braviary. Is that strength sapping me again? Well, he might, I and mean, he sh probably shouldn't, but. All right, here comes Villanux. Okay. So, what's a bigger threat? You think, mm, I wanna say Jellicent, but I don't even think with my boost I take him out. He's got three turns of trick room left. I'm gonna switch into Exadrill. No, I'm not. I'm switching into Tyranitar. And I'm gonna use my last turn to do Max Knuckle. Super effective on, on Vanillux. Plus then Tyranitar will get the boost. Okay, Titar, and we get the word of the weather. So if he tries to actually Blizzard, maybe it will possibly miss now. Okay. He goes for Scald, trying to burn me. Oh, oh Roarville won't work, there's no more hail. That's cool though. Roarville, you don't see that? I haven't seen that yet in this format. Alright, it is just one shot, and this hand will take care of the rest. I mean, is it Sash? Okay, yeah. I, I get that a lot on Sword and Shield, all of a sudden it's like, oh, you survived by 1 HP, just coast. <laughs> I want to try to get some uh, more TCG content done too, maybe do one of those tonight too. There's some content out there for you guys. I don't want this channel to die, obviously. I'm just not, not uh, spreading my game time between some other games and stuff, and I'm not um, super loving this format yet. I mean, uh, the information with the DLCs dropped, and I'll definitely download them when they come out and, and try them too, but um, I wa I'm wondering if, like, because right now we have Zacian and Zamazenta in this game, and Eternatus, I guess. They can't Dynamax, like, in a raid. So I'm I'm thinking if they have legendaries coming back like Xerneas and stuff eventually down the road, are they gonna be able to Dynamax? Like Zacian can't Dynamax, so why should Xerneas be able to? So I, I don't. It still would suck to have Dynamax plus those restrictives, but 
Might give you a tool to actually handle them, I guess. Still getting used to it. All right, so Cinderace. Uh, so Trick Room's actually helping me now. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, he can scald me. He's not knocking out Tyranitar and Sam with scald, though. So... Mm, I'm going to go for a crunch. What am I going to do? He's got how much? He's got two turns of... Uh, okay. I'm actually going to just rock slide. And Braviary is, like, really speedy right now. Mm, we'll hit Jellicent, though. So I just got an extra drill in the back. Okay, so we'll see what happens. He shrink saps again. So, yeah, that's on Trantar, so that's definitely better than doing it on Braviary. So I get the drop, but I'm back to neutral then, because I get the boost from the max move. Okay, it doesn't miss. Let's see how much damage it does, though. Mm. On Jellicent, that's not bad. Oh, Braviary's a beast. Oh, that's crit. Okay, yeah. I felt like that was a lot of damage, but still a beast anyway. Alright. <clears throat> And obviously I have all my boosts, but that's what's good about him. Okay. So he didn't, he didn't have a sash in that anyway, we know that. I mean, he could have double kick. I don't know if it gets any other... Like, it doesn't get close combat or anything. I don't know if it gets any other... Um, uh, any other fighting moves. It's into race. You haven't seen it in competition very much. It's so fast. Even with a dragon dance, I don't think I outspeed it. I'm gonna rock slide and just fake him out, because next turn I can thunder wave him with Prankster, and, I'll, and maybe I don't think I'll still speed it, but um, maybe I will. They're so fast. Oh, okay, it's not cool. Alright. Okay! Hey, we got a win! Good deal. <coughs> Alejandro, we're moving down from our 18,000. I missed the old scoring system. This one seems kind of arbitrary. I, mean, I guess it's just ranked, but I don't know, it just goes all over. Like it's you can't you don't really have transparency and visibility to the ranking. Like I'm seventeen thousand six eighty four. So who's seventeen thousand six eighty three? You know, like who knows? You know, um, like in the old system, you used to go on uh, Global Link, you could see your rank in the U S. and stuff, and that was kind of cool. Give you something more to shoot for. Ooh, this person's really low, ninety six hundred. Ooh, look at that. All right, so yo yo. So, he wants to go for a Trick Room here. Um, I'm going to go Grim Snarl and Arcanine. See if I can stop it. So that gives me Fake Out and Roar. Alright. I don't... See, I don't have my Grass Attack anymore. And... I mean, T-Tar looks okay. But... He tried to look okay. Except for you're bringing the sand for his thing. I think I want Gudra. Yeah. That, um... That gas runs going to be a problem, I feel like. I mean, do you bring it to this game? Probably. It's pretty good against me. I'm toying with putting uh, uh, Power Whip on Gudra just to have some grass covers. I don't think I use Flamethrower very much. Thunderbolt really either. But, I don't know, it's physical. I mean, it's weird to have, you know. I mean, it's, it gets to high base power, it doesn't matter. Okay. Alrighty. Police, a lot of these guys, I mean, you can't burn Arcanine. Um... Like, Grimsel doesn't want to be burned, but uh, it's not primarily an attacker, and uh, Kudra doesn't care from a damage perspective. So I'll take out the Butterfree, I'll roar out the Dusclops, so at least we're stopping Trick Room, even if he protects from my fake out. Nope, probably figures, what's this Arcanine going to do to stop me? Brah. Okay, so he gets roared. Okay, of course he gets it right here. I wish I had uh, Will-O-Wisp now. 
I'm gonna reflect. Just try to protect me from anything that Rhyperior might do. And I'll go for a Flare Blitz and a Butterfree. Seems kind of obvious, but I don't want him putting anything to sleep. Um, he's probably not Scarf. Could be Gigantamax. I'm not Max Speed Arcanine, but... Okay, I'm speedy enough. Okay. He didn't Dynamax. Probably just trying to get rid of the Roar, you know, so he can come in and Trick Room. Okay. He Rock Slides. Okay. Bump, bump, bump. Now, even though he's slow, he'll outspeed my Roar. Another one of those isn't going to be good here. So, Dusclops. Now, the thing is, do I try to Roar him again? You know, I take a... Um, I try to Roar him again. I take a Rock Slide. I'd probably get knocked out. I feel like Paralyzing Rhyperion is going for Flare Blitz just to, um, just to get some damage on Dusclops. Maybe bring it into a crunch range. You know, it'll take a while, but... Oh, duh, he's drowned. What am I thinking? All right, never mind. I'm thinking he's just pure rock. <laughs> okay, that's not a bad chip on him, though. Okay, rock slides. All right, I'm going to try to save that pretty good. I should my berry now. So the th question is, does he have Grimms, or does he have Gastrodon in the back? Or does he have... Do he bring, um... Torkoal? You wouldn't think he'd bring Torkoal. My problem is, I want to use, I want to, um... Hmm... Well, I don't want to stop his weakness policy, though, even though he may have a plan to do that with Dust Club somehow, I don't know. So... Well, I'll just spirit break his Rhyperior just to get some more chip. And I'm going to go for a max Wormwind in the Rhyperior just to check for a Gastron switch in to take this water attack. And then I'm not setting off his weakness policy and I'm lowering his attack with uh, max Wormwind. Plus I will, I have Reflect Up still too, so. The whole thing is to stall this out now, right? Just chip him down so when he gets back to uh, normal size he's easier to take out. Do, 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 do. Like I feel like I need Gudra though, because if he especially has Gastrodon, he didn't switch, and maybe he just wouldn't predict the water attack, and maybe he wants to take it to the proc the weakness policy anyway. I don't know. This is always one of the hardest things to see to deal with is this, is this Max Rhyperior. Okay, so he's gonna hit me first, obviously. Nightshade. This cops is good in this format. All right, he's getting a special defense boost here. That's more damage I would want. I mean, it's not gonna knock me out next turn, but I might have to go for the water move next turn. Spear break. Okay, special attack doesn't matter really. Okay, doesn't matter at all for him. So Max Wormwind, not doing much damage at all with this boost he's got. But the drop helps. On him at least. Alright, Spirit Break isn't doing anything to... I'm gonna paralyze Dusclop just because... Just keep him from, maybe give him a chance to not attack. And I could Spirit Break him I suppose. Hmm... Yeah, let's do that. I want to get him in a crunch range. I'll lower his attack one more time on Rhyperior and get a little chip. And then, uh, oh, there, yeah, there is weakness policy anyway, see? So I, that's the right move then. See, if I live it, if I live his attack, then I'll lower it again. I knew he had something. He lowered my speed too, but lowered his speed, I guess, also. Do, do, do. Is there Max Quake again, though? Okay, I do live it, but I'm not living another one. That's for sure, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. We're missing our Rillaboom here. 
Uh, Draco doesn't matter on him. He's night shading us anyway. Max win win. All right, we're doing another half. Okay, we gotta take our trick room turns now. Two turns off the trick room. Uh, what are we doing for reflect? Reflect's got one turn left. So, Grim Snarl. I'm gonna hit the Dusclops again. I'm gonna switch. Which is probably a terrible idea. But I need Gudra to win. I mean, Tyranitar, I don't know, he survives this, you know, yeah, I don't know, he takes it, hopefully he takes it, I'm giving him the sand is the only thing, yeah, Tyranitar probably wasn't the move here, but I, he's the slowest thing I have, So definitely a weakness of this team, I did have Gastron for a minute, which looks kind of nice, okay, at least he rock falled, okay, I mean, all this not super effective, it probably would have knocked me out otherwise, so, we kind of got lucky on that. He nightshades, yeah. Do, do, do. Okay, spirit break. Okay, that's not doing bad damage, actually. Oh, crit, okay. Keep saying that, and it's just crits, okay. Now, the trouble here is... His Dynamax is over, though, right? So he won't be able to hit through my protect. Okay, so that's good. So his Dynamax ends. The problem is, uh, do I spirit break? I think I spirit break him. See how much that will chip him? Maybe a uh, Dusclops. I don't need to crunch Dusclops, though. I'm just going to spirit break and protect, and I'll go for the reflect next turn. Depending on how much spirit break does right here, I know he's at the boost, so he's not going to do hardly anything at all. I need Gudra. The, only, the bad thing is I don't know what he has in the back yet. It's like if it's Gastron, that's gonna be tough to eat through. So I'm not gonna get any Dragon Dances off with what HP I have now. Like I'll be able to limit its special attack with Spirit Break if Crawl of Crimson survives. If I just rock sliding here, oh, high horse bars. Oh, okay, he goes into Gastron too, or er, Gastron goes into Trantar. Okay, he wants a Titar gone. All right. Spirit break. Uh, that, that's not crit, is it? Mm. I don't know, guys. A rock slide might do it. A rock slide and a spirit break on that thing. Is that going to do it? A rock slide and a dust lapse. I don't know if that stops trick room. That's enough damage to stop trick room. I'm gonna go for it. Watch, I just miss a rock slide. Okay, I hit. Oh my god, see, it lasts like one HP. Okay, I knocked that out. Maybe he's not trick rooming. Oh, come on. Seriously? <sighs> okay. I swear that one HP stuff. Sucks. Okay. Let's think about this. Oh, it's Torkoal, though. Hmm, I don't know. The bad thing is, like, Grimstraw's gonna take a lot of damage from that. So I can paralyze that. I mean, does he Solar Beam or does he Flare Blitz? Or Flare Blitz. You know what I mean. We're bringing Gudra just so I can get the sand back. I paralyzed him just to see if I can impede his movement. I mean, an eruption is going to knock out my Grim Snarl. And this Gudra. So a, parallel, a paralyze here would be nice. Okay, well, I got lucky on that one. I mean, he's just going to do it again. <laughs> So, I'm going to Spirit Break him. Uh, I think 17 HP, Gudra goes down. 
I mean, I can bring in the sand. But I don't want to take any damage. Spirit break them. I'll go through my water. I mean, they don't have protectors. So I can't stall at anything. Oh, he just heat waves. It doesn't matter. Knocks me out anyway. Okay. But the thing is now... Yeah, I can still get that eruption. I don't know. Like, I don't have a lot of HP left on, on it for an entire. Depends on how many trick room turns left. I just, just started, so I'm not going to be able to stall it out. Okay. So, sand is up. Yeah, I wish I had more HP. Oh, he's got two turns off the trick room only. Hmm. I could protect or I could rock slide. Oof. I'm gonna rock slide. Let's see how much this eruption does. Oh, okay. I'm getting lucky with these paros. Like, I, I realize I'm getting lucky. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's the way it goes. Okay. But, I'll protect now. And then trick will be over. Then I'll have para flinch. <laughs> so, I'll be able to. Hopefully, flinch him or paralyze him. He's just heat waving, which also could miss. And I don't think knocks me out. No, no, no. I am still gonna rock slag. Crunch might be a better idea, but. I thought about Dragon Dance to just get the damage up, but this might be a two hit KO. His defense is pretty high, I don't know. I'm used to being intimidated or burned or something with Trying to and it's unusual for it to be a neutral. <laughs> so it's doing more damage than I expected to. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, come on, come on. It's an intense game, though, either way. I mean, just fighting through a Rhyperior team with this team is difficult, so that's definitely a change I should... That Gudra slot could change to something. It's just it's just so versatile. I like it, but it's not... It's kind of a jack of all trades, right? It's like a master of none. Okay, at least I hit that time. So either... Ooh, I did a lot. Okay. Okay, he does get the heat wave off, though. Don't burn me. Alright. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna protect. Because I want to make sure he's in crunch range, so I don't risk missing another rock slide. Because he'll get the other, obviously, the other chip from Sandstorm. Alright, that's gotta be enough. Alright, I'll crunch him. Hopefully for the win here. Crunch. <laughs> it was like a delay. I was like, what's going on? Alright, we won. Okay, that was a good game. Like, that was kind of intense. We definitely had to play around it. So, I mean, uh, Max Roman was nice. I guess Gudra did kind of help us, but. Alright. Do, do, do. Get some points back. That person was 9,000, so. <laughs> According to us, that's a pretty low on the ladder. Well, let's see how fast I jumped down this ladder now. Yay. I mean, it's one game. We'll see. So I was at... What was I at? I guess it was tell me. 17,000. Like, I just picked up a thousand places with just one win? That doesn't seem right. Like, I don't know if you can look at that as your place on, like, a stand. I don't know. That's weird. I like to see, like, a description of actually how that works, you know? Like, it's, it can't be by record. My record's terrible. You know, it's... It's... 50-50. So, I don't know. I swear, I jumped on Max for the first time I was a 2,000 for this season. And then I just, that team with that Charizard was no good. Plus, I was just doing no good. All right, he's got Whimsicott. He's got Sand. He's got that uh, thing. Uh, Gyarados sucks. Like, it's hard for me to go up against. I feel like I need Braviary, but going up against Sand is hard. Mm, is he just bring extra drill? I feel like I need, I, I need Bravery because I feel like I need Tailwind. He's gonna have Tailwind. I want Grim Snarl for sure. Grim Snarl. I need Gudra. But I need it in Tailwind. Yeah, Bravery. That's rough. Like, I don't know. Is he gonna lead Sand? I don't think he would. He might lead Excadrill, though. 
I should bring extra drill. I need Gudra. I need extra drill. Hmm. I don't know, let's see what happens. It's kind of a gamble, right? Like, if he leaves his sand mode, that could be tough if he just Dynamaxes his extra drill. I was obviously I can fake it out, but... I think, um... will o might be better than, um... Better than, uh, Tailwind, uh, or Thunder Wave on this. Alright, he does go extra drill. Like... It's not Mold Breaker, either. I want to fake out. He can hit me with a Steel move on the Grimmsnarl, too. I want to fake out and block his Tailwind, but if Sand goes up, he's going to be faster anyway. Mm. Reflect? And Close Combat? Reflect and well, I can't just tailwind because this is gonna match his tailwind. I gotta hurry up. All right, all right, that's that's a mistake. I just faked out the whims of cotton and I I went for the uh, max airstream. I mean, he's not. He should be faster than me if he's max speed extra drill. And he's, so he may he might not be dynamaxing. Maybe fearing a prankster will o wisp like he doesn't want to just Dynamax and I burn him. So maybe he's just trying to match Tailwinds here. Or he's just slower. Hmm. Maybe he's adamant extra drill? Extra drill is base 88. And, uh... Yeah. And I'm base 80. Um, I'm jolly base 80 max speed. Braviary. So that's kind of surprising. I mean, if he's... Sans... Uh, Rush, he'll still outspeed me. I get rid of his Whimsicott. Okay. So, yeah, and that's... It's not bad, but... Yeah, crit doesn't matter. I get the speed. Maybe he goes for the steel move. And he just thinks I tailwind, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, that's actually good, because then he doesn't get this hand. Oh, I'm kind of surprised he got that, though. Alright, so he did. He did, he did, he did. Um, boost his defense. But, I want to drill for sure. Uh, maybe T-Tar comes in, maybe that's why he didn't bring this hand up himself. Yeah, here comes T-Tar. So I know it should work out this way, that Excadrill, my Excadrill... Is faster because it's max speed, and so is my Braviary and Braviary Dynamax first. I didn't get my Reflect though; is the only thing. Uh, don't want to go for the Fighting move on Tyranitar. I want to double up on him. Double up on the Excadrill. What is lot? Okay. Weakness policy? Weakness policy extra drill? Ooh. Oh, he max quakes though. So unless he, I mean, he probably rock slid with um, uh, Tyranitar, so I, I probably just lose extra drill here anyway. But maybe he didn't. And I just knock him out with, um, with uh, Braviary. Okay, maybe I don't even knock him out, I don't know. I mean, it's... Ah, dang, it always survived by that little bit. That little bit kills you, too. It's like, I just need that little bit of chip. So maybe he doesn't rock slide. She stone edges. Ooh! Okay. I mean, that's fine, because I know I'm faster. So... We'll do that. I mean, he could be Chapelberry, like we are. Maybe. I'll speed his extra drill. Hope we don't miss. I always miss his high horse bar too. Ninety five accurate percent accurate move. I swear it's like eighty. Oh, he withdraws. That's fine too. High dragon. Okay, that's definitely fine. 
Oh, he messed. That's really fine. Okay. What did I do that? I think I'm go he's gonna go. I'm gonna go for a ground attack on his Tyranitar. That has a Chapel Berry. So that kind of makes sense now, because it's well, I'll still have speed him though. I mean, I have a life orb, so this might just knock me out with the sand. It probably definitely knocks me out with the sand, actually. Ah, uh, sand's gonna get me. Dang, I need one more turn on Braviary. I had my speed up already. Dang it. All right, that's okay. So now. I have Gudra. The th problem is... Well, he's gonna have to decide what he's gonna attack here. He can't protect again with Excadrill. I kinda want Excadrill to survive this turn. Hmm. I'm gonna iron head the high dragon. Cause that forces him to That forces him to target down. Oh, that's even better. Unless this, this is gonna knock him out. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so. Boop. Dink. Okay. So we both dynamax already. He protected his Excadrill. Sand's still up. My problem is... I mean, I can Iron Head his Tyranitar. And I know it's not weakness policy. And Muddy Water. And then Gudra shot speed Tyranitar. So it gets doubled into. Might even knock it out before it's able to attack. Muddy Water will knock out Excadrill. If Excadrill goes into Gudra, then Excadrill, my Excadrill's still alive. That's what I'm gonna do. Probably was smart to get rid of his extra drill. But that okay, that just knocks him. I, I might, I thought I might just knock him out too, but with the boost. All right, he goes for rock slide. Ooh, this is the problem now that I'm gonna miss this muddy water or be flinched. I swear to God. All right, cause he's got his boost. Yeah. That was a mistake, because he's boosted. Or I should have just flamethrower, knowing that Iron Head would have knocked out. So that was my fault. Yeah, he's high horse priest and knock me out. Oh, dang it. Alright, so we kind of threw that game. Um, we definitely did at the end there. I was just afraid of his Tyranitar, because I knew that X Drill had like no HP left on it. So. And obviously the flinch, that sucks. Like, without the flinch, I would have had to hit Muddy Water, but. Lose to a flinch. But that's not really RNG, though, right? You should always play to your outs and play to your more um, assured win condition, and he obviously had the uh, weakness policy boost still, so I should have went into his uh, extra drill anyway, and then who knows, and then I've, okay, I muddy water Tranatar, takes a little bit of damage, he knocks out, say he rock slides, knocks out my extra drill, does damage to Gudra, and then it's, a, I mean, I don't know, like with Sand Up, I have muddy water, but that's not super strong. I mean, he might have had two more turns yet, so that was what I was worried about. Relying on hitting Muddy Water and just going blow with blow to blow with Tranatar with Gudra is not great. So uh, Gudra probably the change this, this team needs uh, two more bulky water type like a Milotic or something. All right, uh, check opponent's team, no, and I'll quit for now. So uh, we will check our. See, well, our rating went back up, so we're not going to check. Uh, rating's still terrible. So, um, hopefully I'll get a chance to get on here a little bit more and uh, grind a little bit and to get back down to the bottom of the ladder a little bit. But, um, like this team still makes some changes, but I don't want to just put the same team all the time either. That's kind of what I've been doing is changing it up and use some rentals and stuff and just not really... Haven't been invested in really trying out a lot of things in this format yet. Getting excited about it. So, I uh, hope you guys are, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, more content will be coming to the channel soon, too. I definitely want to get some TCG stuff up. And um, I'll get I'll get uh, more enthusiastic. I just want to uh, try some unique things. Um, 
I feel like a lot of teams floating around now are just are just gimmicky. Like they're always the same strategy, trying to lead every game with. That's just not how I like to play. So uh, it's having just challenges with that in conjunction with trying to um, get through my backlog of. Uh, PlayStation games and some other stuff I'm trying to do too. So, uh, but definitely still see the content on this channel. If you enjoy it, uh, please leave a like and um, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.